What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna go to work on the car. I got a little guest here hanging out with me. Got my son. Say hi MJ. Hi. Hi. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and put cold pipe. Basically what I said I didn't do. The uh, auto inner glue piping on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, adjust my hose here. So I can put, um, install my uh, boost controller so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then probably later this afternoon I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the intake manifold all that carbon buildup um, if we got time or if I decide to take a break I might go ahead and check out the drift competition that's going on but uh, I don't know we'll see so uh, here we go Alright, so I got the uh, woo, the intercooler piping and the intake uh, on on the turbo side. Here, check it out. It's really tight now because I did get an ISR uh, hot pipe. And um, yeah, I guess I don't have the correct intercooler piping because it's all pieced out. Like, the only brand branded of my piping is the hot pipe and that's the isr hot pipe everything else is some ebay or put together freaking piping but uh here you go this is what it looks like really tight my gray type fv blow off valve as you can see it, my hot pipe is up against my distributor we're pretty close to that but my blow off valve is sitting on top of my map sensor um I might try to pull the piping out, the intake piping out a little bit more. Um, so I put my Turbo Smart uh, boost controller here. A little bit hidden, it's just tie strapped for now. But I do need to pull the hoses so I can connect it to the wastegate and my vacuum source here. Down here. Uh, my Tommy Mafo is starting to rust out uh, from just sitting there. And it needs to start up because it's um yeah then i got this side to do so i got to put on the koyo radiator and the isr fans wire up the fans finish up the intake manifold clean up this passage here oh i need to go put on my probably gonna put on my block off plate um i got a thermostat so i'm gonna be taking this off cleaning it out putting a new gasket um so i can put on my isr thermostat um yeah so i don't know we're gonna, we're gonna put on some more uh put some more work in and uh we'll see what happens all right so they're plumbing the hoses for the turbo smart uh boost controller I cut myself in the process, but it's all right. So, you know, things happen. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and deal with this. It's a lot of like gunk. Uh, I'm gonna go pull out the water neck, uh, clean off the gasket. Damn, I should brought my scraper. Um, put on the, I guess my plug, my little block off plate thing, and then uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So I just pulled off the water neck and apparently there was no thermostat at all to begin with. Something I didn't know. Um, that, uh, <laughs> I 
guess uh, it's going to have a thermostat now. So um, I'll go get the ISR thermostat and I'll uh, we'll put that on. My ISR thermostat, I ordered it from Concept View Performance. I ordered a lot of stuff from Concept View Performance. So it's supposed to open at a cooler temperature than uh, OEM. The um, thing is, when I opened it, I don't have a rubber gasket for the ring. I don't know if I was supposed to... Um, ah, damn. I don't know if I was supposed to... Uh, supposed to use the old one from the old thermostat, but it's kind of hard to tell when you don't have a thermostat at all. So, uh, shit, I guess I might be SOL. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably just use gasket maker. Uh, I really don't know. We'll, we'll figure out. All right, so I don't know if you saw it earlier, but I tried to reuse the old clips or hose clamps onto my new hoses for the PCB and it won't fit. So I actually left, I split, I went to go buy some hose clamps from Home Depot. It's a little bit bigger, but sure, we'll make it work. It's cheaper than the one at the auto parts store. So let's get back to this, uh, working on this one. And Probably call it a day after that. By the time it gets to down to sundown, I guess. Yeah. So, but damn, halfway there, ish, kind of, whatever. Yeah, you know. Let's get it. All right, so. Got the upper intake manifold sewn back together. I need to get a cap for this right here. Um, but the PCV pipe is back on with brand new hoses, new clamps, so it shouldn't leak there. Um, yeah, in this video right here, or this this uh, episode. Um, yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Like this video and comment what else you want to see on the, the comments down below. Also, be safe. Wash your hands. Social distance. Wear your mask. And I'll see you next time.